Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to the Guild 3, where today I think we need to do something about the fourth generation of our dynasty, because it is looking a little bit on the weak side, isn't it? Right now, we've only got three people down here in the fourth tier, which is not very many at all, if we want to go forward and have a great big lovely strong dynasty. And I mean, okay, at some point in the future, if everything does go to plan, these three will get married. So that would get us up to six, but even if we had six people down here, that's not enough. That's not enough people to really secure the future of the dynasty. And also, it's definitely not enough people if we want to go ahead and take over the entire council of Visby, which would be a very exciting goal. Is it achievable? I do not know, but I'd like to give it a good go. So I think we need to work on that today. Get some top quality stalk letter writing going on, and just if we can't secure our fourth generation a little bit more. And I think we need to start over here with Rich T because of course Rich T is now a widow. Lisbeth passed away last time at the age of 41, was it? Which is no age at all. So yeah, Rich T, our player heir, and to be fair, we might be playing as him very soon indeed, because Custard Cream's life candle is very, very sure. Uh, Rich T has no wife. So at the moment, the future of the dynasty in kind of, you know, direct succession terms is looking a little bit flaky. So I would like to at least get another child for you, Rich T. I think that would be very good. So how about we find Rich T a lovely new wife? That'd be very exciting, wouldn't it? So Rich T, here we go. Stop whatever it is you're doing. Whereabouts are you? You're all the way over there doing your best aeroplane impression. Well done. So how about we stop you doing that? And then let's go and have a look around, shall we? Let us embark on a romance, because that's exciting. Um, now, do we want to go and try and woo somebody from another dynasty, which might possibly annoy them? And it would weaken them a bit, but are we really into that? Do we really want to go and weaken the other dynasties? Because we're doing quite well for ourselves without having to get involved with them, really. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Let's see if we can find somebody who is of a similar, potentially a little bit younger, maybe. Maybe a little bit younger than Rich T. So Rich T is 36. So if we could find somebody around that age or a tad younger, who also does have a very high level, I think that would be very good indeed. How on earth have you got to the age of 44, Marta, and not gone up a level? So you're 44 years old and you're level one. Whereas this person here is 44 years old and they're level eight. What have you been doing, Marta? Oh my goodness. Um, okay, so let's have a little look around. I mean, yeah, look. So, I don't know how you pronounce that. Venka? V Venke, possibly? I don't know. Um, so yeah, single commoner, 26 years old, level 5. That's okay. That's not too bad. You're 33 and you're level 7. Hang on. So what's your fertility like? 88.5%. This is kind of our key factor here. We want to make sure that we pick somebody with high fertility to ensure some children, because that's kind of why we're doing this. So, okay, that's 88. Hang on. Hang on. What was yours? Yours was 100. Oh, no. Hang on. Fertility. Yeah, 100% uh, fertility. Okay. Uh, if we scroll down a bit, 35. Okay. So, Saga. Let's have a little look. Uh, your fertility, 82.45. It looks like it might be the 26-year-old person. Um, which is no great surprise. No great surprise, of course, because, you know, age affects that kind of thing. Um, yeah, okay. Let's make sure that we can you know, secure the future of the dynasty a little bit. Um, I don't know how we say your name. I'm going to say it's Venke. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how. But yeah, let's go and, um, let's go and have a chat with you. What are your stats actually like? Um, they're okay. They're okay. They could be better. They could be significantly better. But do you know what? Really, we're just after this whole sort of fertility stat here, just to make sure that we can get some more children. So, um, yeah, okay. Let us confirm that, please. There we go. Right, so you pootle off over there, please. So you can find wherever they are. In the meantime, what's going on here? So an employee has leveled up. Somebody at the clothing shop. That's very good. You can have a point of dexterity. So you can really handle a pair of scissors very well. And... A family member has leveled up. Now, yeah, we saw that on here. It's um, it's Jammy Dodger, which is exciting. So, Jammy Dodger, enjoy your level up. No idea what you're doing. Are you fighting? No, you're playing. Okay, you're just playing. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's give you let's give you a point of dexterity as well. I quite like the idea of that. There we go. Um, and then if we go, hang on, Custard Cream isn't doing anything. Custard Cream, get playing that music, please. We don't know how long you're going to be playing music for, so let's you know, keep playing it. Right. Okay, so you're over here chatting to that person there. Um, I mean, the intelligence one has the best chance of success as we get run over by horse and car. Let me love you for all eternity. <laughs> 
Seems a little bit extreme, given you've only just met, but there we go. I'm asking your permission to love you today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Do you know what? Let's put time on to normal speed. Come along. Come along, conversation. Chop, chop. Respond, please. Now, I acknowledge your pains, but I don't feel the same about you. Oh, no. Oh, no, absolutely spurned. Oh, no, that didn't work at all. Well, okay, right. I imagine that might make him sad. Um, yeah, minus one charisma, and he's got a wounded heart. Right, okay, okay, right. What we need to do is, Rich T, can you please go home? I think maybe if you go home, you can have a bath and that will make you a little bit more appealing, because who knows when it was the last time you had a wash? I'm not entirely sure. It could have been a long, long time ago. Whereabouts are you? Oh, Christ. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There are about a million things going on. Uh, right. People have leveled up. Okay, so one of our sort of uh, police people has leveled up. Have a point of strength. That seems important for them. Um, one of the minstrels. Have a point of, have a point of dexterity because then you can do a little bit more exciting dancing as you're going around the place. Hang on a second. Hang on. Don't get got by this robber. <laughs> this robber inconspicuously hiding behind a bush and a load of barrels in the middle of the path. Are you going to get by? Yes, you've evaded their cunning trap. Um, okay, and then vacant office, vacant office. Okay, right, hang on a second, hang on. So I need to kind of refresh my brain on what we're doing here. So dungeon master job is available. So who would like to go for that? Hang on, I need to figure out who's doing what. Sovereign is secure, mayor is secure until... 1472. Okay, so that's going to be fine for ages. That's okay until 1472. Emily has reapplied for the uh, treasure job. So, okay, those top ones are sorted. Market Reeve, okay, until... Ooh, applications open later this day. Okay, so you need to reapply. Oh, hang on. No. No, they're already... They're already open, and we've already applied. Um, okay, hang on. The next... Oh, no, we're waiting for the next election to take place. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Have we cast our vote? I think we have. Tax collector is fine for a little while. And then customs officer. Ah, right. We want to get somebody into this position over here. So how about malted milk, who's never here? <laughs> you can go and become the customs officer. Do you know what? That might make sense. That might make sense, uh, malted milk doing that, because they go overseas a lot. And maybe they've been through customs an awful lot themselves. So maybe they can do the custom stuff. So yeah, 175 influence to do that. So that will move you up to there. Um, captain job is... We've applied for that and I imagine... Yeah, we're the only candidate, so we will get that. Um, yeah, the dungeon master is available. And then the arsenal master, Garibaldi Biscuits, is going for that. So there is a dungeon master job available. But I don't think anybody can actually get into that job. Because I don't think we have any other people around. Hang on a second, hang on. Um, what is Hobnob doing? Does Hobnob have an official job? I don't think Hobnob actually is on the council yet. Um, no. So Hobnob is not. What's, um, hang on. What's Maya, Marja doing? Hang on a second. Um, are you applying for one of these? You're not applying for that. Are you applying for that? No, you're not. And everybody's applied for that, which is a bit of a shame. I thought we told Marja, Maya to apply for a job. Ah, right, so she's going for this job down here. Okay, that's fine. So I think, I think maybe we try to get, let's try to get, um, let's try to get Hobnob in as, what's that? What are you going for? A gate guard. Yeah, why not? Go in for a gate guard, please, Hobnob. Let's try and get more people in onto the council. Um, okay, right, that's that sorted. And then do we have to do any nominating? So candidate, judge, 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 candidate, yeah, more judging going on. Candidate, 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 crikey, there's a lot of candidates are going on. And another candidate kind of notification. Okay, right, that's all fine, that's all fine. Right, back to Custard Cream, because the lovely Custard Cream is not playing any music, and that makes everybody sad around the place. Nice Biscuits is, you're pursuing an aggressor. We've seen you do this before, Nice, and it didn't end well. Let's see what happens this time, shall we? <laughs> I think you are armed this time. We gave you some stuff, didn't we? Yeah, you've got a sword. You've got a sword and iron bracers. Okay, well, hang on a minute, hang on. Let's watch this exciting police chase. However, let's watch it in normal speed. Here we go, running after them. Is she catching up? Uh, well, she might possibly be catching up a little bit. The distance is certainly coming down. Is there going to be a fight around on the bridge? A fight on the bridge would... Be <laughs> oh, they've caught them. They've caught them and there was no fight. And now she's running through a brick wall. That's a very good trick. Well done. Okay, so success, success. 
what happened there though? Did we get our money back or whatever? I'm not entirely sure. Um, there's some more town sort of uh, proceedings to deal with. Um, Wilhelm Brodersen is accused of attacking someone. That's naughty. Into prison with you. We're being very harsh with our sentencing just to try and make people learn, try and teach people a lesson. Um, okay, right. You get back to doing what you were doing. Um, is, uh, hang on, where's our house? There it is. Is, uh, hang on, where is, there's Rich T. Whereabouts are you, Rich T? Uh, you're making your way home. Okay, it's taking a while, but that's okay. You just keep going. List of applicants are closed. Various sort of things are going on. Right, so you pop into the mansion. There we go. And do you know what? I don't know if you've ever been in here. I don't know if you've been here, but there you go. You can go and um, uh, you can't take a bath because the tub is already in you. Oh, hang on. Have I just, are you going for a bath? Yes, you are. Okay, sorry. I kind of messed the uh, thing up there. You go for a nice bath. Go for a little splish splash. Get your rubber duck. Um, and that list of applicants is closed as well. Okay. Somebody's praised us, apparently, which is nice. Tyra Martins praises in public. And a few people are a little bit drunk. Hobnob has drunk too deeply from the glass. <laughs> Hobnob. You're only, you're 15. You should, should be more careful. Maybe that's more acceptable in, you know, the 15th century Visby than it is nowadays. Right. So. You're having a bath, which is lovely. We've got another sort of court thing to do. Melvin Broderson accused of attacking somebody. Stop attacking people. What is wrong with you all? Why are you all being so mean? Um, you can have a point of dex or a point of strength. Oh, which one do we go for? I like the characters all having at least three in things. Maybe, yeah, a point of strength. Do you know what will treat you? Make you a little bit stronger. There we go. All right, custard cream. I'm a little bit nervous about custard cream because whenever we do this, I kind of think, is this the last time? Is it the last time you're going to be able to entertain people over here at the Old Town Market? I don't know. I don't know. But that life candle there is very, very short indeed. Um, okay, right. So let's wait for uh, Rich T, the city legger, to finish his lovely bath. And then we'll go and see if we can find anybody that he would like to go and have a little bit of a romance with. Oh, crikey's another employee has died. Okay, so Sigurd over in Hey Nonny Nonny. Hang on, we'll go and sort that out. Wait there, Rich T, wait there. Right, so Hey Nonny Nonny is is where? I can't see it. There it is. Um, Yeah, it's okay over here because these are just kind of the workers. They're not transporters, so it's nice and easy to get you guys set back up. Um, You're one of the stage performers. Okay, there you go. Get on stage, do nice. Stuff. Right, Rich T. Here we go. Oh, and our candidature was successful. Hooray. Um, right, so Marja, we've got a Marja. Marja Biscuits is now an informer, which is very good. The uh, status between Hansons and Emilsons is now hostile. Naughty, naughty. Um, okay, right, so Rich T. Now you're sort of, you know, smelling a little bit nicer. You're lovely and scented and very clean. Can we go and do another romance? And let's see who else there might be around. I mean, is there anybody? I mean, okay, what about, she's level 10. She's level 10. I don't quite know where all her skills have gone, but she's level 10. She's very charismatic, if nothing else. Um, she has got some very exciting things on her. Fertility, 96.59%. Okay, so Karen Anderson <laughs> is our current best option. Um, oh, hang on, hang on. 22, level 7. Fertility, 100%. Her stats are not quite as good, though. Not quite as good. Um, Gida, Gaida, 28 years old, fertility 100%. But you have a charisma of one. Okay, maybe not you. Um, Bajita, Bajita Alwedson, maybe you. You have an intelligence of one, which is very unfortunate because everything else seems to be quite good. I mean, you will get a big boost when you actually join us. You will get a huge intelligence boost. Um, but again, you're not spectacular. Uh, we've got one of the Martins. Let's not do that. Let's not annoy our buddies. Um, and then, hang on. Why has Hakon Lassesen appeared down there? Why has Hakon Lassesen appeared? <laughs> why have, Why is that there? I don't know why that's there. Um, okay, I think it might be, unless Matilda Alanson here is spectacular. Oh, you are quite good. You're quite good. But where was the lady up here that was, was level 10 or what? No, was she level 10? She was very good, whoever it was. Um, yeah, Karen. Karen Anderson, Lady Squire, single. She's, uh, stats are quite good, but she's got very high charisma. Um, she also does come with some wool and some blackberry jam. Oh, that's wonderful. She comes with her own jam. That's amazing. How about we go for her? Let's go for her, shall we? What's her fertility again? It's 96.59%. It's fine, but she's level 10, which is very good. So hopefully 
some of those good skills can go down to the kids, which is very good. So yeah, do you know what? That'll do. We'll go for you. So Karen Anderson, right. You rush off and find her then. Hang on, where's he? Hang on, where's he gone? Crikey, he's keen. Hang on a second. <laughs> um, right, Rich T, let's go back to, hang on, custard cream. Custard cream. Will this be the last time? I don't know. You do that. Um, right. Rich T, get on with it over here, please. Where is Karen Anderson? Oh, she's right here. She's right here. She's just down the road. Um, okay. I dream about loving you. Let's go for a charisma check, shall we? I dream of my love for you every night. And then I wake up and realize I love you even more. Oh, it's so romantic. And then she takes a long time to reply. Let us dream together forever, my love. Okay. That sounds very good. That sounds good. Right, okay, so that's worked. So now we can start doing some of these other bits and bobs. Let's uh, let's compliment that person. That's a good start, isn't it? You are the most beautiful of all God's creations. Um, forgive me for these words, but it's hard to hold them back. You are the crowning glory of God's creation. Crikey's. Okay, right, so are you going to like that? Or are you going to slap us in the face? There's nothing to forgive. I love it. Okay, that's good. Right, now let's sweet talk this person. We don't know what they say there, but sweet talking is happening. Okay, and oh no. <laughs> Not very good at sweet talking. Not very good at that. Let's go for a kiss on the cheek. We'll, we'll be brave. We'll be brave. Let's see if it's going to be good or is it going to be rewarded with a slap in the face. I'm shocked. I don't... <laughs> right. Do you know what? No. Sorry, Karen Anderson, but we don't like it if you slap us in the face because that is just too rude, isn't it? That's a bit rude. That's a little bit rude. We gave you a tiny peck on the cheek. There's no need to slap us right in the face, is there? Maybe there is. Um, okay, right, hang on a second. Let's go back down and find somebody else could grief. <laughs> Rich T, you're making us work very, very hard for this. My goodness, okay. Um, I mean, what about you? Yeah, 24, we looked at you before, didn't we? You're the one with the intelligence of one, but your other stats are looking pretty good. Um, you don't come with your own jam, which is unfortunate. But do you know what? Yeah, let's go for you then. Confirm. Right. You run off and find that person instead. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. We need to follow you. There we go. So let's see where... Oh, she's <laughs> just around the corner. <laughs> just anyone around. Um, may God bless your lovely hand so that everything you do with it will be successful. This is what I wish for you. Bit weird, but okay. Right, we can always come back to Rich T. Uh, you've leveled up. Have a point of dexterity. You've leveled up. Have a point of... Definitely have a point of dexterity. Right, back to Rich T. Come on, Rich T. Come on. We can do this. We can... Those are beautiful, pious words from you. Let us talk further. However, I think Hakon Lassison might be talking to this lady as well. Um, he's... Pro <laughs> he's proposing to her. Okay, I feel a bit awkward. <laughs> Rich T, can you move out of the way? <laughs> oh, dearie me. My dearest love, right, okay, hang on. Is she going to say yes? Because if she says yes, I think maybe we might want to abandon this uh, this endeavour. Ah, oh, good grief, Rich T. You're making this so difficult. Come on, just answer. Right, okay, so she's going to get married to the, one of the Lassesons. Right, okay, let's not do that one then. Who else is there around? Okay, so maybe Marin over here. Now, the only negative is down here. Why is her charisma down? Uh, minus one, because she's wearing a bone bracelet. Okay, we can make you take that off. That's absolutely fine. Why would a bone bracelet confer 15 armor on you? That's got to be very, very specific. They've got to hit you in a very particular place upon your person to make use of that kind of bone bracelet. Up. But okay, whatever the case. Yeah, I think we go for you. Let's go for Marin. What is this? Attempt number three, is it possibly? So hang on a minute. Right, Rich T, go and... Oh, hang on a minute. Rich T, where have you gone? <laughs> Rich T, come back. Where's Marin? Is she around the market somewhere? Because everybody else seems to have been around your house. Right. She is seemingly a bit dis... Oh, she's in church. Okay. I feel like possibly we shouldn't be doing some of these things in church. But okay, let me love you for all eternity. Come on, come on. Let's just move time on very quick. Right. Yep, he's using the same lines. <laughs> she doesn't feel the same way. <laughs> Good grief, Rich T. Oh, Rich T. I feel a bit sorry for it. Right, hang on, come on. Just get back over there and do that. Right, Rich T. Uh, you know what they say, the fourth time's the charm or the eighth time or whatever. I don't know. Right. Oh, we can't even embark on a romance yet because that hasn't cooled down. That's, that's how bad it is for you right now. However, he has at least sorted out his charisma. All uh, right, candidature was successful. And look at that. We're back up here. So we're back in the position of Arsenal Master, which is very nice. We can't get that job, unfortunately, because I think Malted Milk's going for Customs Officer. 
Uh, oh, hang on. Hang on, can we apply? Because Maja, Marja is down here as an informer. I think we could possibly get her up there as well. Yes, please. Let's do that. Let's make sure that we could go for that. Uh, ah, right, hang on. Council Guardian. Um, I don't know. You. Because why not? That'll do. Um, and is there anything else we need to do? Candidate jobs. Okay. <laughs> ah, right. Uh, how about you? Morete. Uh, only 88.19% fertility. Marin, did we try? We just tried you, didn't we? Did we not just try that with her? That might have been her and she said no. Or was it another Marja there? Um, I know we tried it with her as well, did we not? I'm very confused as who we have tried and who we haven't. I suspect he might have gone around the entire of Viz people until we find somebody that likes him. How about Thea here? She is 30 years old and she has a fertility of 99.41%. So yeah, pretty much 100%. And her stats are actually quite good. They are not too bad at all. So how about Thea? Please tell me that will work. Because, oh my goodness me, <laughs> this is getting seen. Oh, she's right outside. Um, okay, so smart people should stick together. Or you are the only thing of beauty. Let's try a charisma check, shall we? Let's go for one of those. Right, come on, here we go. Please work. Oh no, <laughs> it sounds like false and false praise. No, thank you. This is getting a little bit ridiculous now. Just a cream. Hang on, let's go and play some music, shall we? There we go. Hooray, we can at least do something. You can do your levitating. Uh, can can somebody else do something? Oh, dearie me. Uh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Ginger Nut is now just hanging around a tower. Oh, no. Ginger Nut's playing. Ah, in the residence. Okay, you're playing over here at home. But we could... We could actually employ you now, I think. So we can employ Ginger Nut. Hello, Ginger Nut. Welcome to the family. Um, and what do we do with Ginger Nut? Do we send Ginger Nut away to the court of the monarch, possibly? Hang on. Hang on, Ginger Nut is... I mean, if something goes wrong over here with Rich T and Jammy Dodger... Jammy Dodger's 15. Jammy Dodger is now 15. Jammy Dodger can join in and do some stuff. Um, okay, so, yeah, I think maybe if we're going to... Yeah, you're, you're quite high up, aren't you? You're quite important in terms of our dynasty. So I think maybe could we send you to... Yeah, let's send you to the court of the monarch. I think that could be quite good. Um, hang on a second. Where is it? Can't find where the button is. It's so, Where is it? It's around here somewhere. Come on, where is the core to the monarch button? Unless we're not allowed. Unless we're not allowed. Is it because you're not... Oh, hang on. Is it because we've employed you? I think that was a problem, wasn't it? I think because we've actually employed you, I think it, the game says, nope, because they've got a job, you can't send them away to the core to the monarch. Um, hang on a second. Hang on. What if we were to... Dismiss you. Away with you, Ginger Nut. Now can we send you away to the court of the monarch? Is there something that we can do now? Yes, there we go. So it's going to cost 20,400 money, and they will go away for a while, but they do bring back a huge big pile of influence, which we are going to need a lot of soon. And um, and yeah, they come back with lots of exciting skills and that kind of stuff. So yeah, okay. Huge big expense, but there you go. So you're out and about. Hobnob, I think, has got all the things that she needs to go and earn lots of lovely influence. So, um, okay, Jammy Dodger, maybe you now need to go and do that as well. Um, Rich T, we'll come back to you in a second. <laughs> Rich T, you're, I feel a bit sorry for Rich T. Rich T, do you need to go and have another bath? Do you know what? We'll send you home. You can go and have another bath. Maybe that's worn off and you got very sweaty running around the place, which is why you're not having much luck. So we'll give that a go. Um, and yeah, OK, Jammy Dodger then. So Jammy Dodger now needs to stop what they're doing because, yeah, they're going out to play. But only the kids can do that. So I think you can stop doing that now. And then if we just focus back on our house, which is uh, where is our house? There it is. If we go to here. Yeah, Jammy Dodger can't play anymore. So Jammy Dodger, how about you go and shout about how wonderful we are, but can you then please come along to the market where we can give you influence boosting things? That would be very handy indeed. So yeah, you pop over to here and we'll do a spot of shopping, a tiny bit of lovely retail therapy. And Rich T is back at home. So Rich T, you go and have another bath because I think you're allowed now. I think enough time has passed. So you have a lovely scrub. I can't believe we've not had any luck with him at all. It's been absolutely terrible. Um, right, hang on. There's Karen Anderson. There's a person that we did try to chat to, and now she's just hanging around the market listening to Custard Cream. Um, okay, hang on. Where is... Where are you? Where are you? 
You're still making your way over here. Jammy Dodger, you must have been some distance away, but okay. Right, so let's get you over here. An employee has leveled up. That's fine. Right, okay. So, oh, and a family member has leveled up. Hang on a second. It's Garibaldi, the Arsenal master. Um, point of dexterity, so everything is at least four. That's very good. Right, just a cream. Come on, let's put this on loop. Just loop this, please. Yep, go and play some music. And then we can get back over with Jammy Dodger. So Jammy Dodger should be, that's that's Holm, Jammy Dodger should be going to the market. Why is Jammy Dodger not going to the market? Jammy Dodger, go to the market, please. Go there, go there. There we go, wonderful. Hang on, Jammy Dodger's a bit drunk. Tut, 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 Jammy Dodger. Hopefully you're drunk on some sort of tea, just excessive tea consumption. Um, okay, right, so now we need to give you all sorts of lovely things which make you better at picking up influence because that's what you're going to be doing. So we need to do clothing. I think it's the patrician's garb, isn't it? Plus 8% ability. So I'll have one of those. Then we need some weapons and armor and that kind of stuff. Uh, how much money have we got? Absolutely huge big piles of it. So have yourself a sword because that's nice. Um, oh, no, we didn't want the sword. We didn't want the sword. I just wasted a bit of money. We want you to have a staff. Have a staff instead. Do you know what? It's fine. Whatever. Um, and then in terms of armor, we will give you... They haven't got any leather gloves. Okay, have iron braces then, because that's something. And then we want to give you all the stuff down here that gives you those lovely influence boosts. So where is that? Luxury items. So a gem ring... Doesn't do any of that. Hang on, a silver ring, wasn't it? Silver ring. So a couple of those. So two silver rings. And then it was a money bag, wasn't it? Another plus 2%. Okay, very good. And then do we give you a horse as well? Not livestock. Do we give you a riding horse? Joe, you know why not? Have a horse. It's fine. There you go. And do we give you a gold chain as well? Just to pick up some more reputation as you go around the place. Yeah, have that as well. Look at that. You've been very well kitted out. You've been spoilt, Jammy Dodger. Um... Okay, that's fine. But I think, yeah, Jammy Dodger is, um, yeah, the kind of the heir apparent. So, yeah, Jammy Dodger will take over at some point. So, it's okay. We can spoil you. So, now you are all ready to go out and just pick up some more influence for us, which is very good. So, there you go. You can resume working. There we go. Very nice indeed. You've been sent away to the court of the monarch. You are working. Right. Here we go, everybody. Back to, uh, <laughs> back to digestive. Oh, no, hang on. Let's do these level ups first. Uh, ah. Burke, the alchemist over here. Um, I did notice this last time, by the way. So over here at, um, at uh, yeah, Biscuit and Burke's, which we named after Borgin and Burke's from the Harry Potter books and such like, um, we've got ourselves employees. Uh, we've got ourselves one called Burke, given that, you know, it's called Biscuit and Burke's. So that's quite good. And then we have Hedvig, which is very, very close to Harry Potter's owl name. I thought that was quite, that was quite appropriate. But there we go. Hopefully that's making a lot of lovely money. And um, Juta has leveled up. You can have a point of dexterity for productivity purposes. Okay, back we go. To Rich Tea, once again. Right, finish your bath, Rich Tea. <laughs> we'll come back when you finish scrubbing away. Right, so he's out the bath. We do have a lot of people leveling up, my goodness me. Result of a vote. Um, Ulf Hansen's release from prison has been extended by a good long time. What's that? Is that... Hang on, what's the difference between those two years? Is that a 22 year increase on his prison sentence? Wow, that's that's a very long time. I mean, he was going to be released at 1486, which is quite some time off anyway. Now he's going to be out in 1508. I suspect maybe Ilf Hansen will die in prison because that's a very long prison sentence. Oh my word. Um, okay, right, here we go. <laughs> Rich T. Ah, right, Ingrid. Ingrid is 26. Fertility of 100%. Those stats look okay. So Ingrid is a potential. Mari or Mary. Okay, ooh, that could marry look. Mary, it's a message. Um, 100%. And you've got your own cattle and pigs. Wonderful. Is there anybody else? Marin, we tried, I think, didn't we? Um, okay, Ola. Um, ooh, oh, she's good. She's good. She does have some endurance potions and... Hang on, what? Hang on. Why did that person just turn into Detloff? <laughs> Game? What What was that about? I was looking at her. Not not Detloff. Why did Detloff suddenly appear? <laughs> what happened there? That was an odd regeneration. Um, okay, so yeah, maybe you. Because you've got your own endurance potions and some flee away. And your stats are quite good. 
Yeah, okay, right. Let's go for you and your 27. Hang on, your fertility is, I guess, 100%. Yeah, okay, right. Here we go. Attempt number, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what the attempt number is. And Custard Cream, you know the deal. Just keep playing music because that's what you're famous for. Right, Rich T, Rich T. I don't quite know what number we're on now, but please. Right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Let's go for intelligence because that worked before. So may God bless your lovely hand. Okay, so that's nice. That's a lovely message. We're doing that. And what they're going to say. Uh, oh, good. Ah, no, they like it. They like it. Okay, this is good news. It worked. Hooray. Result of a vote. Uh, the Lassesons have lost some public opinion. And we've got the... So Frederick is a captain still. And Holm is still the market reeve. Okay, that's all good. Let's clear all these out because I'm not entirely sure. I'd overlook these too easily. Right. Okay. Finally, something worked that Rich T has tried. <laughs> now we just need to keep it going. So come on. Come on, Rich T. You can do this. Right. So, yep. Talky talk. Right. And then we go down to here and let's, let's do some complimenting of, hang on. Let's compliment the right person. So Ola. Yeah. So it's Ola. So let's do that. Um, you are so beautiful and educated. You stand out from all the others. I like the sound of that. Okay. So can you please work? Please work. <laughs> oh my goodness me, that worked as well. This is looking good. Come on, Rich T. We believe in you. Right, the final thing. Can we do some sweet talk? This is where it went wrong before, wasn't it? And we got a little bit of a slap in the face. Is it going to work? Does Ola like the sweet talking? Yes. One of our own pleas has died. I kind of feel like we need to look at that quite soon. Because, uh, hang on, who was it? Um, Amelia, so healthy. Oh no. Um, and hang on a second. It's going well. We need to keep this going. Right. A kiss on the cheek. This is brave. This is very brave. Little bit of a kissy on the cheek there. <gasps> oh my goodness me. Finally, at long, long last, this is going to work. Um, okay. So how about we could, uh, embark on, no, we don't need to embark on a liaison, do we? Hang on. Now we can serenade. Oh, hang on. It's almost at the top. It's almost at the top. Could we not just do the whole sort of, would you like to marry me thing? Propose marriage. She's kind of ran away a bit. <laughs> come back. Come back, Ola. You're the only person that's spoken to us this long in months. Um, okay. Would you be my wife? Would you marry me? Yeah. Charisma check. There we go. Um, my lady, if I gave you my hand, would you take it and make me the happiest man in the world? Please say yes. Please say yes, because that would make things very... No. <laughs> Right, that's it. We're, we're done. Sorry, Rich T, we've tried our best. You might just have to be a, a very, a very sort of a bachelor. That's what I was thinking of for a long old time. Oh my goodness me. Okay, right, hang on. Go and compliment her again. Go and be nice to her again. I, have we ever taken this long to go and try and, so you go, woo a potential partner in this particular run so far? I don't think we have. This is it. We're having to work for this. Good grief. Right. Okay. Hello. How are you? Um, you're my precious stone among pebbles. My eyes will always find your sparkle, even in total darkness. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Come on. <laughs> your words flatter me. Okay. Good. Please be my wife now. Uh, right. Applicants are closing. Are we could be missing all sorts of stuff. We could be missing all sorts of things. Um, okay. Right. So hang on. Now I think maybe we do this. Let's go and sort of, you know, play some music right at her. That takes a little while. So while that's happening, you can go over here and play some more music and then we can look at what's going on here because I think we've missed an awful lot of level ups. Applicants have closed for something. I forget what. Oh, yeah, we could do with getting somebody else in. We could do with finding Jammy Dodger a role because really we want Jammy Dodger to work their way up to the top, don't we? We want Jammy Dodger to be the sovereign, really, at some point. Um, so hang on. Are there any jobs down here? I don't think there are. There are no vacancies at all right now across the entire council. Okay, never mind, never mind. Um, right, let's go and deal with some level ups because I imagine there are quite a lot of those outstanding now. You can have a point of strength. Um, you over there, you can have a point of strength as well. What have we got to deal with over here? Oh my goodness me, right, we're nominating for customs officers. Malted milk, please. Uh, hang on, why can't we pick malted milk? Why are we not allowed to pick malted milk? Uh, hang on. We can pick, we can pick the other person. We can't pick malted milk. Is it because they're not here? Maybe the game is clever enough to realise that because they're not actually in the country, we can't vote for them. <laughs> oh, 
that's going to ruin that then. Oh, okay, that's put pay to that idea. Okay, Molten Milk can never have a job. Um, Rich T's finished doing that already. Oh, okay, that was that was quick. And it worked. Well done. Can we do this again then, please? <laughs> Let's try again. Come on, come on, come on. This time it can work. Right, would you be my wife? Go for the other one. My dearest love, my heart can barely contain my excitement. You are my one and all. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Do you want to marry me? Say yes, for goodness sake. Please say yes. And the answer is... Come on, please say yes. <laughs> We're all waiting. People on the edge of their seats waiting for this answer. It's taking a long time. Goodness me, you're still thinking about it. Oh, thank goodness me. Yes, I've been dreaming of the day you would ask me to be your wife. We did. We did not long ago. And you said no. Do you remember that? Do you remember when that happened? <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Hooray, finally. Right, go and do the marriage thing right now. Go and get it sorted, please, because my goodness me. A wedding in a church, please. Um, yeah, okay, right. So off to the church with you all then, please. We'll follow you in a bit because you will run off to a church. So that's okay. Right, and we'll continue to sort out level ups. Hang on, hang on. Because there's going to be so many of these across so many of our businesses. I think we need to just go and pay a bit of attention to these. Because it might be that we're not doing things as efficiently as we could be. So let's go and have a little look at all the businesses. Just to make sure that everybody is leveled up that should have a level up. It's looking good so far. Oh, hang on. Somebody over at... um. Over at So Healthy passed away, didn't they? Hang on, we took that out as well. Hairport, yeah, look, there's one over there. You can have a point of dexterity. Big and bubbly. Oh, couple over here. Couple over here. So you can have strength to bring up to three. And Tuva, you can have have more dexterity. Why not? Um, that's big and bubbly. So Healthy is okay, but we do need to come back to that. Visby PD is looking good. Bottle and Biscuits, good. Biscuity Books is good. And... Oh, they're all over here. Look at this. They're all at uh, Biscuit and Burks. Okay, Dexterity for you. And I think Dex... Ooh, strength for you, because Strength of 1 is terrible. Um, And Strength for you to get it up to 3. Right, and then back to So Healthy. Um, I think, yeah, we now have a vacancy, don't we? Was it So Healthy? I'm fairly sure it was. Yeah, hire a worker, please. Uh, yes, please. We'll give you some grindstones. And then we'll switch the back on. Switch back on so you can do some more stuff. There we go. Um, right, wonderful. So now you should be doing stuff. That is all very good. Um, okay, right. So Rich T is about to get married, finally, at long last. Let's go and join him in the church. Okay, here we go. We're going to have the quick version because we know how this goes. I do like the inside of the churches, though. Like the whole sort of stained glass windows at the back are very pretty. They're very nice. A lot of detail going on. But yep, yeah, okay, they're all saying yes, it's all wonderful. Yes, I do. Perfume evaporated. And there you go. Right, so we now have finally secured a marriage for Rich T. That took a long time. Someone spurns you. Ola turns Oh no, that must have been ages ago. That must have been ages ago. I didn't see that. Because now Ola is ready to get married. And we are indeed married. Hang on, hang on. Request for a trade agreement. That's a wedding taking place. The guild was, yet yeah, the guild of Freemasons were okay. Right, ah, good. Malted milk is back, which is very handy. Uh, request for a trade agreement. So, hang on, hang on. Uh, the Martins want to swap our, they want to swap our sort of stage rostrum things. No, what waste time that is. That's pointless. Um, and somebody's leveled up. Okay, the good thing is, that this is now sorted. Look at that. Ola biscuits and rich tea biscuits. Finally. Right. Okay. You know what's coming now. Can you two please just put back to the house and just go and write a very good, very eloquent letter to the stork, please? Because this is kind of what we wanted to do all this for. And it's taken absolutely ages. <laughs> it's taken so long to sort that out. Pretty much an entire day has it been. I mean, look at that. We started with what? Do we have about 20 grand? Now I've got 117,000 monies. So, um, so yeah, it's taken a very long time to get that done. Right, dexterity up a bit, please, over there. Custer cream is still around. Custer cream is clinging on in there. That life candle is getting very, very short indeed. Um, but okay. Right, finally, this is all good. Do we need to do anything in here? We need to ah, nominate a dungeon master. We shall have our own person, please. Um, candidate, candidate, nominate for a gate guard. We shall have our own people, please, because it is in no way corrupt at all. Right. That is that now sorted. We have some idle people. Um, oh yeah, malted milk. Of course, malted milk. How are you? So you've come back from your trade mission. You've bought back some influence, I hope. But what did you bring back? What good is? Please tell me you bought back some porcelain. You've bought back pepper. 
Okay, I think we did need pepper for the um, the fancy banquet thing and some more pearls. Okay, so quite a bit of pepper and a couple of pearls. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Right, so you pop back home and you drop those things off because that'd be very handy. And then, um, yeah, we might just well send you straight back out again. We might just send you straight back out again because you're very good at picking those things up now. You're picking up some very good things. We need porcelain, I think, is the next kind of thing. I think we need a couple of those. And then we could throw a banquet, which would be very good, because I don't think we've ever done that before in the Guild 3 either. Um, hang on a second. Let's go back into here. Right. Drop those off over there, please. Wherever you might be. Where are you? Somebody carrying big armfuls of exciting things. Oh, yeah. Ola's got all these things. Ola's got some stuff on her that she could possibly sell. Um, yeah. So you drop that into there. So all the pepper and then a couple of pearls. What was it? Where is the banquety feast thing? Uh, we need one porcelain, which we don't have. Two wine, which we do have. Ah, salt. One salt, which we don't have. And one, is it one pepper was that? Just one. One pepper. So if we could pick up a decent amount of salt and a decent amount of porcelain, we could throw many banquets. That would be very exciting. And then finally, the rostrum could actually be used for something decent, because at the moment, we don't really use it for anything. It's a very expensive, wooden, rubbishy thing. Um, yeah, okay, right. So, I mean, can we send you straight back out? I don't imagine we can send you immediately back out. No. Oh, and it's 1466. Hooray! The year has trundled by. Two years have trundled by. Um, okay, so, I mean, do we just send you... Do you just wait? Do you know what? Go and have a bath. That's fine. You go and have a nice wash. You've earned it. You've been out of your travels. Who knows where you went? So maybe you could just have a little dip in the bath just to, you know, freshen up a bit. Hang on. Did I not tell you two to go and do the whole sort of stalk letter writing thing? I thought I told you to go and do that. Why have you not done that? Confirm that, please. Oh, OK. Have you just been hanging around in the church all it's time? Uh, OK. <laughs> That's a bit weird. What were you two doing? OK, Custard Cream is still here. I'm very impressed, Custard Cream. Well done. I mean, I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy because it's wonderful and everybody loves you, Custard Cream. You are the sovereign of the land and that's a very wonderful thing. Um, but yeah, I think it's not going to be long, is it? It's not going to be long until you pass away. But you know what? You've been wonderful. You've been very good. But uh, yeah, you've still got some life in you yet, which is very good. So yeah, you play your little drum thing over at the market just to keep the people of Visby entertained. And just a very quick check. We need 320,000 monies to climb up the social ladder one more rung to get up to that word there status. Marquis, Marquis, that one there. I mean, we're on what? 145,000. So we're coming up to about halfway there. We're not quite there yet, but that's a very tricky goal. That's a very tricky goal. But yeah, we'll get there slowly but surely. Uh, there is a vacant office and there is a vacant office. Okay, are they down here? Yes. Okay, council assistant. So could we now get... Hang on, this gets very complicated. Could we get Jammy Dodger just in? Could we get Jammy Dodger in on this kind of thing? Um, yeah, get Jammy Dodger into that position there. That would be wonderful. Um, okay, hang on a second. That's just telling us we're a candidate, isn't it? Yeah, okay, that's fine. We kind of know that game. That's fine. Um, and then, is everybody else? Where's the other vacant office? Um, over there. So, a council informer. Uh, but, hang on. Ola. Ola Biscuits could have that job. Because you've literally just joined us. So, yeah, we'll apply for you to go into that job. And that means, yeah, we're kind of securing things down here. So, that's another candidate, uh, candidature kind of notification thing. That's fine as well. Right. OK, so now we just need to kind of let time tick on a bit, I think. There are many applications for offices. I mean, who else? I mean, that took so long. <laughs> it took so long. So long time. What about you two? What about Garibaldi and Maya Marja? Could you two now maybe go and write a letter to the stork? And then we could get another child down here in our fourth generation. And you know what? Between you two, it's a lot more straightforward. My goodness me, we had to work for that with Rich T. But uh, yeah, you two, could you just go and do that right now? And then carry on your duties afterwards. That's fine. And then over here, nice and home, you could do the same as well. Absolutely. Where are we? Just there. Yep, you two go and do that as well. That'll be very wonderful. There we go. Right, so everybody off writing lots of lovely letters to the stork. Okay, so we're waiting outside the biscuit tin for good news. And there is the good news. Hooray. Right, so that is Rich T and his new wife over there. So Rich T and Ola. So Ola is now expecting a child, which is very good news indeed. So that's going to get us up to four people down here. And then we just need to wait for the others. We just need to wait for another couple of wonderful, very happy messages. 
and then that will be a success, I think, because that means we'll have at least, what, six people down here. And then if, of course, all those six people marry, that will be 12 people in our fourth generation, which would be perfect. I think that's quite a lot of people. So, um, so yeah, okay, let's wait for the other ones to come in. How near are they to actually getting home and such like? Um, Rich T, I do want to go and actually make sure that you're, you can go back out and do your job now. The only thing is... Uh, have you finished doing what you're doing? Have you finished stalk letter writing? I don't want to interrupt because that would be weird. Uh, no, there you go. You're both done. Um, yeah, so you can resume working. And then Ola Biscuits, you're going to have... Oh, yeah, you've got these things. Yeah, hang on, you've got yourself a bit of... You've got a throwing knife on you and a torch and a camouflage cloak. Um, okay, I suspect maybe you're probably going to be used for going out and gathering influence. So maybe we'll kit you up to go and do the influence gathering stuff again. Oh, hang on. Malted Milk is just standing there looking a bit sad, <laughs> thinking, when can I go abroad again? I need another holiday. Uh, no, you've got to wait for a little while. Um, okay, right. Let's get you over to the market. And no, let's go the right way. Get you to the market and we'll sell all that stuff you've got and then we'll buy you some uh, influence gathering stuff. And apparently our candidature was successful, although I'm not entirely sure to what. Um, ah, the treasure job. Okay, wonderful. So we're maintaining our hold on that kind of top office there on the council. Wonderful. So, Ola, you can sell all these things. You're carrying around a lot of blankets. They do give you, what, plus three... What's that? Resistance. But okay, I think it's fine. I think you'll be okay. So get rid of all that. Get rid of your torch. We don't need that. Get rid of that throwing knife thing. And then, yeah, you've got an endurance potion or two. So get rid of that for 1,390. And then get rid of 10 lots of flee away for 3,000 money. That's quite nice. And we'll give you a horse because we're nice like that. And then, yeah, we've kind of seen how we do this now. So you have the kind of staff thingamajig. You have a silver ring, uh, yeah, just the one in that slot, and the one in that slot, and a money bag, there you go. Uh, in terms of weapons and such like, um, I mean, yeah, okay, iron bracers, that will do. And then, um, and then, yeah, hang on, what was it? Was it a gold chain again? Yeah, have a gold chain, why not? There you go. Um, and then, oh, we haven't, we haven't employed you, hang on a second. <laughs> I do find this a bit fiddly. Now we have to employ you like that, and then you, wherever you might be down here, you can go out and grab some influence for us by constantly boasting about how wonderful we are. There we go. Very good. Okay. It's another good message over there. Someone is expecting a baby. So that is Marja and Garibaldi. Okay. So our second couple that we sent to go and write letters to the stork, they have succeeded. They wrote a very nice, very lovely letter, and now they are having a child sent to them, which is wonderful. That is very good. So again, our plan is working. Our plan is working to expand the dynasty just a little bit more. Oh, and another employee has died. Okay, so Lauren's over in So Healthy, which does have a level of irony to it, I suppose. Um, okay, hang on. Let's go over here. Please don't say you're the transporter. No. Okay, right. So hire a new worker. There we go. And uh, you are there. Because, yeah, I think the hospital remains open all night, doesn't it? That's fine. And look, we're pressing the button to tell you to actually go and do some work. Although, you're off duty. Sometimes when we've done that, we couldn't give them these grindstones because... They kind of weren't there, but maybe they sleep at the hospital or something. I'm not entirely sure. Whatever the case. There we go. You've now been kind of, re the old person's been replaced. It's very sad that they've gone. But there we go. A new person comes in, ready to learn the wonderful art of medicine. And now, yeah, we're waiting for confirmation that our third pairing over here. So, uh, are you even there yet? So, nice and home. We're waiting for those. Hang on. You're not even, you're not even trying. I thought we told, I thought we told you to go produce offspring. Did you even try? Uh, I don't know. Hang on. Hang on. That's Garibaldi. Hang on. Everyone's round. Hang on. Who needs to... <laughs> who just did... Who was that? Which one worked? Someone is expecting a baby. So, Marja and Garibaldi. Okay, so, let's go to here. So, Garibaldi, you may resume working. And Marja, you can... Oh, you have resumed working. Okay, well done. That's terribly efficient of you. Good job. Uh, but then, yeah, over here, nice and Holm. I mean, Holm is still... Holm is still boasting. I'm very confused. I'm very confused because it looks like you tried, but we didn't get a notification saying it didn't work. Hang on, can we try it the other way round? No, we can't. Uh, okay, that's a bit weird. Normally it says, oh, it didn't work or whatever. But um, no, it didn't It didn't tell us there. <laughs> right, okay. But yeah, Holm didn't turn up though. Holm is over there. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of why it didn't work. 
I mean, you know, I know we write letters to the stork and everything, but it takes two to tango and such like. That is possibly why that didn't go entirely according to plan. Um, do you know what? I think what we'll do is let's send Holm back home. Let's say, Holm, you need to go home, please. It looks like that does have a very long cooldown time on produce offspring slash write letter to the stork. So I think what we will do is we'll finish up for now because I think we have done very well. We've set out to achieve our goal, I think, because we've got, what, at least another two children coming in, possibly another third down here. So we'll finish up now. And then when we come back next time, we'll see if we can sort of, you know, collect enough money to work our way up to this status here that I can't say properly. So that'd be quite good. If we could get up to there, that would be wonderful. And then we'll get a load of children. Hopefully some more children will appear into our fourth generation and it shall all be very wonderful indeed. And then, of course, we might want to start thinking about the fifth generation because we do have Jammy Dodger down here and we have Hobnob over there, both of whom could go and get married and then have some children of their own. So it's all looking very good. But yeah, I'm quite glad that we did manage to sort out a kind of you know, a bit of a boost to the fourth generation. Not right now. They're not there right now, of course. A little bit of time has to pass for the children to be born and delivered by the stork and all that kind of stuff. But they will get there in time. So I'm quite glad that we did actually get there in the end. I think possibly we could have done things significantly quicker had uh, had Rich T not been so unlucky in love. But there we go. There we go. You got there in the end and you and Ola are now very happily married and it's all wonderful. But my goodness me, Rich T. You did have to go through some trials and tribulations to get there. But there we go. You got there in the end, and that's kind of important. So yeah, we'll finish up for now, come back next time, and then we'll just see how we get on and how the dynasty expands and whether we can climb up another rung on the social ladder, which would be wonderful as well. But yes, we shall see if we can do all that kind of stuff next time out. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in the Guild 3. But for now, thank Thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. This sports car is indeed illegal. You clearly couldn't see the sign saying no cars. I have found the place where I'm going to live forever. The Tea and Biscuits Cafe. I want to rename the dog. Uh, let's call it uh, Wuffles. Wuffles McBark. Behold, the power of the blimp.